Welcome back to Chimmy Joe Gaming. I'm Chimmy Joe, and we are playing What Remains of Edith Finch. We just learned about Barbara, and uh, the other one that's over on the other side of that wall. I can't remember what that was, but that's okay. Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Of course, because everybody wants to know somebody famous. Wonder if I can actually get back up here. No? Okay. That's a no. But we just learned about the music box. Wait, were we already in here? Whose room is this? Molly. Yeah, we were already in there. Okay, so we did all That's the. Funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. All the top, um, rooms. Yep, rooms. Top rooms. Now we go play with the music box again to get the key. Uh, I gotta wind it the other way. Wr wrong way. Come on, stop winding it the wrong way. There we go. Now we go downstairs to see the creepy basement, like in the comic. Wait a minute. This isn't so creepy. It is missing a lot of things, though. And those, uh... Those creepy dolls, or wood carvings, aren't there anymore. These are all the the memorial Mom said the things. The basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. <laughs> Dragon slide. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Packages. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. This is actually really cool, too. Although, how was that able to move if the... Well, it's just a story, so everything's different, but... I remember asking Mom once about where Walter had gone. Just wanted to forget the world. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Yep. If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Oh, look at that. You can shower while doing the dishes. That's convenient. It's kind of sad. Just having a picture for something like that. For a window. Remembered with a can opener. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. I mean, Having your house. schedule, living for today. Your house was right above you. You could have just left. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. That is also true. Like uh, those people, like people who live near a. Uh... Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. 
people who live next to a uh, friendly. airport um, eventually don't see or hear the planes anymore. And then one day, everything just stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. 2005. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. Started in like, what, 76 or something like that? It's been a week now. The longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave. Well, I still can. All right. He's very old at this point. You can tell by the the spots on his hands when he was getting those, or when he was doing the can things. I bet after all those years, he's read all of these books like I know three it's times out there already. Somewhere. What's out Whatever there? Whatever killed Barbara. Oh yeah. And I can why? understand that. Being a kid and just wanting to get rid of it all. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it. Especially the food. <coughs> I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. A single week. I'd be happy with one more day. The whole time, it was just a train going by him I at 12 o'clock. Every time, and for a week, it was just out of commission and late on the fifth day or the seventh, whatever. Whatever Walter you. Walter died when I was six. Whatever you consider a I week. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Down the hatch. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, <laughs> I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Right? We have a relative that's... I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. If you have a relative trying that's... Trying to bury uh... something that's still alive. <sighs> yeah, a relative that's um, alive... And now that there's only one of us left. Just living in solitude. Kind of sucks. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse. We made it real. It was, what, 60, no, <clears throat> 57? Train. Run over by a train. A train that doesn't even run anymore. Look at this. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me.
Blinky red light. But I thought you should know about your family. And the history you're a part of. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. <coughs> it's interesting that a story can just be so real that it just affects somebody's life to the and point of them dying. The house. That history of imagination and stubbornness and madness any of it seems possible. How was I supposed to do this again? All right, I have to go this way. been surrounded by death for so long we've just gotten used to it it's a very sad notion what kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house someone who wants to remember their parents I mean it's embarrassing for me to admit this but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one yeah these Three are all the gerbils are mine and two had been my fault <laughs> oh and uh, all of the little ones are like the birds up in the cages. It's a lot of pets for a f one family. Oh, Christopher. Oh, yeah, I missed that one. Uh, there was another event in Molly's room where uh, you go over the fishbowl and she's like, I thought about eating Christopher. I only thought about it, and then I didn't. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Imagine, like, the stories that what killed them. That That's what their memorials are. Like, she turned into a cat, or we assume she turned into a cat. Calvin went off into space because he flew away. Sven died while he was a carpenter. Um, Edie died because the stories, like she was the original storyteller after uh, the big man Odin. Um, Walter lived in a cave. Barbara was a star. You know, this. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Yeah, this is just them in a boat and him going down with the ship house. <laughs> ship house. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Yep, that's what that is. He said she dreamed about the old house every night. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Let's see. 70, 13 years old. One year old. This family's gone through a lot. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Lewis was born in 88, died in 2010.
Sanjay. I don't remember Sanjay. We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. It makes sense. He could have still been alive. They could have found him again. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Maybe he was under the house, Part just of like me Walter. This is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. But looking back on it now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. <laughs> it took me this long to look down in the last playthrough. Like, I'm sure you, you've seen it, but I, uh, if you just walk around, you can see her belly. <laughs> well, that's where I'm going to leave it off for today. Um... We will continue with, I believe, Sam's room? No. I, don't, I forget. I forget who it is. But, um, yeah, we'll leave it off here and uh, come back again later for more What Remains of Edith Finch. And, uh, yeah, if you're liking it, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.